Hey, I'm the Kathleen Gamer. Welcome back to PCM 22. It's Classics Puncher, episode number seven. And we have a new assignment, one that I haven't seen before, and I'm really curious about, and that is sprint classification, points classification. They want me involved in it, and I've got full team support. I am our sprinter today. And I got a minus five race day condition, so terrible draw. Uh, it's going to really hurt my chances. I still have a 69 sprint and 76 acceleration, but otherwise, uh, oh gosh, there was no breakaway at all. None whatsoever. I was looking for those intermediate points, and just now we let the breakaway go with 2K to go before the intermediate sprint, which I was going to go for. Now I've got to just focus on the stage finale which with this thing being totally flat let's go ahead and skip to the end 10k banner and we've got the team getting called up to get into position here Arsalan and Simon on their way up now uh, we're still waiting on Rodriguez uh, Josime was supposed to be getting water he did finish okay uh, and Josime I think it's a little too late for him coming up but Orsalin is here, so I think we're going to get him started on the uh, lead out process. Where is, there's Grillier, and there is Rodriguez on his way up now. So they're nearly here, we'll give them a second. Nobody's pushing too hard at the moment anyway. A little bit easier for these guys to get up here. But with 6k to go, we don't need a full train, so it's going to be more about the them pulling guys up into position. Okay, so the proper lead out. Well, Simone's the best one for that. Rodriguez is probably the next one after that, but I feel like those guys are just too far back. So let's just take our three guys and... and Okay, starting his sprint. Lead out train coming a little bit late to the party, but I need it to be a little bit late to the party because I have, you'll see why here in just a second. <laughs> I have this, right? That minus five race day condition. If you actually look down at it, look at that stamina resistance, a 60 today. So Simone giving me a nice proper lead out, but I have to go late. I have to, uh, rely on my acceleration to give me a chance in this thing and i'm not even going to overtake simone i almost got him the win then charini takes it simone takes second i do get fifth though so not a bad result considering the minus five race day condition i've had some really poor luck i had two days in a row with minus five draws both days with expected zeros and no reason to think anything besides that was going to be the outcome. Assignment was points classification, so they wanted me in the break, but today, even though I did finally get a plus one race day condition, I was at the very back of the peloton, so that by the time I made it to the front of the peloton, 11 riders were well up the road. I went ahead and attacked anyway. I had to chase a long while before I caught up to them, just catching up to them after we went live here. We'll see if I still have enough energy left. Grelier is working for me at least, uh, but they want points of classification. This is the final stage of the tour. I got nothing on the last stage. I mean, I blew up badly and the whole group just attacked, so Grelier needs to uh, pull us back here and bring me on up towards the group without me dying in the process. Go ahead and get some water for the two of us while he does that, and let's go ahead and take turns as well. Uh, and make him work a little bit harder, please. We are still two minutes ahead of the peloton and one minute behind the group of ten. If we catch them, we've got a good chance of getting the points on offer here. Six points, but there's 25 at the finish, and it's up to Columbia. There's no way I'm going to be around for that one, so uh, I'm not a fan of how things are going once again. We have the descent coming, though, so Corellier, just don't ditch me, don't ditch me, don't ditch me. There you go. Okay, two minutes ahead. Now he can work a little bit harder as I recover. 
59 seconds. Come on. Pull me up there. Can he do it? He's only brought us back by 10 seconds on the descent, even though he's working at a 92. Follow. Okay, closed that gap. A little bit of a hill, 42 seconds. Sprint, Grillier, lead me out. Not enough. Not enough. In fact, even though I was in contact with the back of the group, they didn't even count that, and Grillier rides on and leaves me in the dust. Strange, we made contact with the group, but it didn't behave as we had, and so we end up out here, <laughs> still trying to make contact with the group, and now I'm not even in contact with Grelier, yet he's still treating it as if he's... Game's just being cruel to me right now, and it's been cruel for three days, so it makes total sense. Uh, things have just not gone and somehow I, I still have control of other riders as well really well that is strange <laughs> Rodriguez is well placed in the GC hopefully he can climb well on up the Galibier and uh, I'm not <laughs> I'm already out of energy as it is I will not be climbing the next 20 20 k to the finish and most of it's a climb so i am in trouble on that part peloton coming here in just a moment uh, i'm just going to start to begin recovery and now i have no control over teammates that's odd but hey whatever whatever this tour has not gone well next up the euros in the german colors here for the first time it's the euros of course we have teammate assignment as we are not yet an elite rider but we made the team I mean that's amazing it is a sprint and then again you know you're able to take third in the nationals so as we approach 100 percent we're going to need a little more on top of that let's see nine nine additional just a couple k away i'd really like to start resting <laughs> we're not getting it in at the moment there we go and there you go okay assignment done for the day we can ride for ourselves now it did come at the cost of some energy but with 150k to go there is plenty of time and it was only a three-man break giving given a pretty healthy lead so it was not that hard of a ride through there it was just the extra expended energy but with the plus five race day condition the stamina resistance effect of that is just about neutralized and then the sprint part is greatly benefited with a 7380 not good enough to win i mean we're, we're not going to challenge for a win with those type of ratings and the best european riders which is you know a majority of the best riders of the world means that uh yeah we're we're not winning but with this kind of plus five which i was expected plus three today by the way and after back to back minus five draws uh, and then just plus one the next day that minus nine combined a plus two right now is well deserved it could have been more than a plus two for all that for all we know but the plus three was expected i started my fitness peak there was only a couple days from the last race till this race and then we had uh, an objective for this one so now 67k to go we are getting close to the end and i'm just starting to get into that stage where it is going to impact my max remaining energy so it's going to start to take a hit with 55k to go Hopefully the pace isn't crazy so that we still have plenty to go at the finish line. Regardless of what happens on the stamina side, we are going to have, what, that 79 resistance? So it's it's gonna, it's not going to go down much. And yes, that red bar is staying pretty high up. 33k now. Two riders left in the break. Now just one. 15 second gap. And it's all over. We are set up for a sprint at the finish on this one. 28k to go. Niels Pollitt, the leader today. 
but he has a minus five. Oof. 22k to go now. Get down to it. You know, if I was, if I were the coach, I'd look at Paulette. I'd look at myself. I'd see the minus five. I'd see the plus five. And if, if we weren't choosing Nikki as Arndt or Walshide, I would definitely be picking this plus five. I mean, come on. It should be riding for me based on the race day condition, not based on everything else. But, you know, looking at the form right now. Inside 10K. We are not in the greatest position here, but we're close. Looks like we need to take a look at our map. What do we have for a finish line? Peloton. A12. That's our circuit. Get left hander straight run in, but there is a little bit of a right hand kink before the finish line. The wind at our back for the most part on the run in. Ooh, position improving as Stefan Kuhn going for the late attack and not being chased particularly hard. He's got a chance here at the moment. Sam Bennett's Ireland team trying to chase it down, but they're not particularly strong in that regards. And it's a 30 second advantage for Kuhn. He might make it. He might make it. But I, I know if I were to attack, like all these guys, just be wasting my energy, which is what they're doing right now. 3.6. Little bit of red bar used up on that, but we are still well positioned-ish. 2.1. Just now coming back up towards Kung. 1.5. And a lot of the sprinters are going to be out of position here for this final run-in. Like myself, a little bit off, but this is a top 10. Bennett wins. Ahead of Mads Pedersen, best sprinter wins. Kung hangs on for third, so he got himself a podium out of that. Sagan, my teammate, not in this race, gets fourth. Van Art, fifth. I got 12th. Ah, thought I had a top 10. I thought I did enough, but not quite. Niels Pollitt, though, was just 16th. If I had a lead out, I would have had to push there, and I could have started my sprint a lot sooner, and I would have been better positioned. Wasn't the leader, did my work for the team, and I got a good result. I was the highest finish? No, Bauhaus got 10th. Second highest finisher for Germany. Still not bad for my first Euros. We've got a long ways to go yet, and we're, we're just getting started, but we're already starting to put in some pretty decent performances. With one four-stage stage race and four classics, we are almost done with our first season. It looks like we've got about two episodes to go to get to the end of this first season. It is August. I still have time to pick up the monthly tallies, but I'm not sure if we're going to get to level eight, which is what we need for the last, the, the next attribute level up. About 450 XP. That feels like asking a bit much. I mean, you'll get September, October, November, December, times 65 four times 65 i mean it's a good haul 260 points but we need about 450 from those eight races i wouldn't be surprised if we get about 100 points so we'd be pushing our luck to by january 1st get another set of attribute points leveled up my guess is it's going to happen early next season uh, probably in the month of january Unless we're pull off a win, which, you know, looking at profiles, sprint, sprint, sprint. We're semi-capable there right now. There is a punchy one. So we at least have a little chance, but not much of a chance in the others. We could maybe get some top tens, though. That could help. And maybe we can pull it off before January 1st. But it's definitely going to happen after the eight races, you would think. Meaning... Where we're at right now is where we're going to be for the remainder of this year, theoretically. And we're down to 78% because we didn't race for a month and a half. So the manager doesn't like us anymore because they didn't select us. That's their problem, not mine. But it's my problem because they didn't select me. 
We've got a lot of work left to do, but hey, one season that has gone really well and we'll continue to push on, but more to do. I'm hungry for more on this one. I can't wait to get to the point where we are picking up some wins. That's going to do it for this episode, though. I'm Decathlon Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time. If you haven't already and you want a key for PCM, hop on over to my Twitter where we're doing four key giveaway for the Tour de France. By this point, we'll have done at least one of those. I haven't decided what stages. I'm filming this a little over a week ahead of time as I'm on vacation at the moment that you're seeing this. I'll be back uh, well later today. For me, I have yet to go. Anyway, see you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.